Hi guys and welcome to part 35 of ASP.NET MVC core tutorials and on this part we are going to add support for identity. Identity is a package and we know that to add a package to our project we need to go to the project.json file and on the dependencies section we add another package. For the identity we are going to add the identity.entityframework core package and after you add the package you need to save the changes so the package can be downloaded and restored. Next we go to the updb context file which is inside the data folder. Here you have updb context and instead of inheriting from the db context based class you need to inherit from the identity db context identity user which belongs to asp.net core.identity.entityframework namespace. By this we get support for identity related features that come with entity framework core. Identity user class that you see here as a parameter is a built-in type used to represent the users. But of course, to use the identity, we need to configure it on the startup class as well. So for that, let's go to the startup.cs class and inside the configure services method, we configure the identity by writing services.addIdentity and in here we write identity user and identity framework stores. And as a parameter, you are going to write up db context. Let's import the necessary namespace, which is the identity entity framework core, and we save the changes. So after you have configured the services on the configure services method, you need to make an additional configuration on the configure method. So in here you write up dot use identity. So the identity is enabled for the application by calling the use identity in the configure method and the use identity adds cookie based authentication middleware to the request path. At the end, for the identity related tables to be added to the database, we need to add new migration. So for that, on the package manager console, we write add migration identity. And after the migration has been created, we see that there are several new tables created like ASP.NET roles or ASP.NET users. To reflect the migrations created tables to our database environment, we need to execute one more command, which is update database. We see that the database has been updated. So this is how you configure identity in an ASP.NET Core MVC application. This is all for this part. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.